Okay guys, for this video, we are going to use a proximity sensor, NPN proximity sensor with uh, Arduino Nano. And we're going to control this servo motor. So I'm going to use testing for uh, this servo motor, SG90, which is 1.8 gram per cm. Sorry, uh, which is 1.8 kilogram per cm right here this is Arduino Nano and I'm going to use breadboard I put my server uh, my Arduino Nano to my breadboard right here so I put my breadboard this Arduino Nano and this one is inductive proximity sensor which we detect for meta and the model is the part number right here is LGN 18N3 LGN 18N3-5-Z slash BX and NPN and the output is for normally opened and the range for detect is only 5 mm and here is 3 wire in this sensor this is here so brown brown wire is positive and BU blue wire is for negative and BK black wire is for the output so you have two make sure that brown wire is for positive and blue wire is for negative and black wire is for the output so the supply for this sensor is 6 to 36 voltage dc so we're going to use arduino nano which is the operation voltage is only for 5 volt so this is not enough to operate uh, for this sensor so we're going to use 12 volt power supply separately for uh, this sensor so right here I have servo motor let me connect servo motor first so servo motor I'm just connect this uh, yellow which is sensor sensor to digital digital pin number 5 and I'm just simply connect a red wire red wire is the positive for a positive which is 5 volt for this servo motor I connect to the Arduino Nano 5 volt and the brown, brown which is the crown, silver, brown wire is the crown. So the crown I connect to on the side right here. I put the crown. Sorry, I just put on the side right here. And this the nano, the crown wire, I jump to this the breadboard. To this is the crown line. So this is the crown wire and here's the wiring and if I have the red wire I'm going to use the red wire instead of yellow which is for the positive more easy to recognize that the voltage is for the DC voltage mostly we connect we use the red wire so I will replace the red wire positive to the fiber right here. Uh, make sure your fiber you correctly plug into the fiber. So the fiber this positive wire. Okay, you can see right here. So this is the servo motor. Servo motor wiring is complex. 
so again this orange cable is connect to this uh, orange of the server which is connect to Arduino Nano digital pin number 5 and the red wire red wire is connect to the positive uh, 5 volt of Arduino Nano and this one the brown cable from server which is the crown crown connect to the crown from Arduino Nano now we're going to use uh, this proximity sensor which is uh, 6 to 36 voltage so uh, we are going to use right here the brown wire I'm just use the brave right here the brown wire is positive here positive I connect simply I just plug in here so positive and here this blue wire blue wire is going to the blue wire is negative so here is brown positive blue negative and this one output so the output the output of the sensor I connect to digital pin number four this is the pin number four of Arduino Nano so this brown wire I need to keep separately 12 volt so I use right here jumper wire so 12 volt positive connect to this brown of the sensor proximity sensor connect uh, correctly and this 12 volt negative this 12 volt negative connect to the blue color of the sensor which is negative so this is 12 volt my power supply and now this from the 12 volt negative which is blue wire here negative you connect to the Arduino ground this one you must not forget you must connect this 12 volt ground to Arduino ground you must connect to be able to work uh, Arduino to control the sensor so now we're going to the coding part oh just connect the USB right here and we're going to connect to the computer and now we're going to upload the code So now after upload the code, the sensor is work. So in this case, sometimes the server is required the higher ampere to load. So from Arduino Nano, the voltage operation is 5 volt, the server is 5 volt as well, but the current is not enough maybe. So the current is not enough, so that's why the server is not uh, turning, the server is not moving. So we need to add the 5 volt power supply. You take your 5 volt power supply. In this case, you need to have extra 5 volt which is more higher ampere you cannot depend on Arduino Nano 
So from this Arduino, sorry, so from this servo, red wire, you need to connect the fiber, extra fiber. So extra fiber, and then the fiber ground, you connect with the jumper wire, then you connect to the ground. Then now, we already give the extra fiber for the servo motor, and now we're going to test. Okay, now. So sometimes, if your servo motor is not moving, then you need to give extra power supply for to support your servo motor. And maybe, yeah. Okay, thank you for watching. Thank you guys.